Oh, here we get the title screen. Well, uh, I, I wasn't expecting it to just start straight at the Red Wedding, but hey, I guess uh, that's what they wanted to do. Just kick it off with a bang, which uh, makes some sense. Not as impressive, uh, this world map, as the actual show title, but hey, what are you going to do? The twins. It's going to be interesting, actually, because uh, I wonder if they have created any new places. Uh, not created new places, but added new places to this beginning intro thing that aren't in the show. I don't know if there are any places that this game is going to go to. Oh, here we go. Iron Wrath. Yeah, geez, this is clearly probably the place where the foresters live, I guess. Probably their homeland. That makes sense. Love it. Beautiful. Iron from ice. Here we go. Alright, down the King's Road we, all, we walk. I might switch it up to the controller, actually. Because this mouse has been a little bit finicky. It's been a bit slow. And I think I can just change the controller whenever I want. It's hooked into my PC, so... We'll see if that works. Use L to move and R to move, uh, move, look around. Well, not really. It's not really a camera, it's just this little reticule. So, but I guess we'll start moving down the path here. Uh, I mean, I played The Walking Dead on PlayStation 3, so I do have a Lord. affinity for controllers with these games. Taste the blood, that's it. Delicious. Delicious, you vampiric bastard. Okay, so what kind of blood is it? Is it pig blood? Or is it just this, this dead pig? Come on, man. Bacon. Remember that line about bacon? Take that pig with you. Burn that pig. Make that bacon. Make that hot bacon. Fry that bacon. Well, it looks like someone else is frying bacon in the background, doesn't it? Alright. I guess we'll just keep walking down the King's Road. King's Road's a dangerous place. All these freaking people come along and attack you. Wonder what's in the wagon. Hopefully some food or something. So where did that sheath come from? I seem to remember he just gave me the sword. Did I already as have a sheath on my back? Alright, well our dad has clearly been assaulted. Whoever he may be. Give us fucking titles for this. Maybe common, but at least still have his bacon. So that's what I wanted. I wanted the bacon. Motherfuckers. I wanted that pig. That was my breakfast. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Shit. Oh I my said God. move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I'm going to kill you. Oh my lord. Is that so? The sword is way too big for him. You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get. Off. My. Land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> Motherfuckers. <laughs> no. I'll have that sword, boy. No, you won't. You will have that sword through your fucking gut. Oh, <laughs> I like this option. Fuck you. Yep, that's my option. That is my option. Damn it. Are you fucking serious? You should be able to fight these pricks. Finish this fucking pig fight. No! Pathetic. Damn it. Oh, that's it. Do the Walking Dead thing. The pitchfork. Really Mate, I'm, pitchfork, going I'm going with the pitchfork. I'm going with the pitchfork. Fuck the axe. All about the pitchfork. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yes! The pitchfork! Told you it was a good idea. I knew it. Uh, 
perfect. Just grab his sword. Oh, Jesus! Oh, that's a nasty wound I have here. Oh. Mercy, please. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. Usually, I would just leave him. But this is the world of Game of Thrones. Lord Whitehill will see you hang for this. That much I promise. Whatever. I don't give a shit. Fuck you. In any other game, man, I would have let him go. But this is Game of Thrones. You fucking... You win or you die. Alright? You win or you die. Um, father? Garrett. You survived. Your, your sister. Oh, she hid. Oh. Oh, did she... Did she get killed by... No! She got killed by a lords in the back! Fucking javelin. I tried to stop them. <laughs> Shit. My fucking family is dead. This has just been a lovely start, hasn't it? Just wonderful. I'll kill the men who did this. See? We need to kill the men who did this, because they just fucking murdered our family. There's our justification. We have motivation now. All right, Iron Wrath. Finally back home, I guess. This looks like a really nice place. If only the world wasn't so shit. It's Garrett. Get the Castellan. Tell him his nephew survived. Garrett. It's too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. <sighs> Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. Oh no. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm. The blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Yeah. Your justice Ooh. was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Elves won't see it that way. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the White Elves just walk all over us. See, we've got to kill them. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Oh no, don't Hold put the maggots inside me. Really? Ah, uh, Really? Do I have to fucking hold a wound? That's not fun. Uh, oh my lord, no. Uh, what the fuck is. No! Are you fucking serious? What the shit? What? Who it does that? Days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Who the fuck put. What the fuck? Better houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Ethan? Although he is young, it's not a very Game of Thrones name. To lead. Ethan? Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. 
Rodrick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh, oh dear. Am I literally just going to walk around with fucking maggots crawling in my wound? Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Okay. I guess. You can really see the uh, the painterly influence here. In the backgrounds, anyway. Let's see what's in this painting. I wonder who's who's here, if we'll be able to know all these people by the end of... Uh... Oh shit, we'll just have a look at Asher. Alright. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Oh no! Essos, alright. Maybe hanging out with Daenerys Targaryen, Rastafarian. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Okay, this must have been taken a while ago then. If he's young boy there, now he's older. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Hmm. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. I'm guessing that these are all going to be characters that we're playing as. And that this guy is like... Our window into the Forester world. Lady Forester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forester myself. I mean, that would make sense, because if this guy's over in Essos, and this lady's at King's Landing, there must be someone up at the wall, right? So... Ryan. Never easy being a fourth-born son. Yeah, bloody hell. Fourth-born. Entitled to nothing. Lord Forrester. It was an honour to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Alright. And, uh, Roderick. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. All right, well, at least two people there. Learn more about the forest is on the menu codex page. Should we have a look at that? Let's have a quick look at that and see if there's anything to write home about. <coughs> okay, they just have longer explanations here. Don't think I'm going to read these, but... Oh, jeez, that guy looks pretty nasty. Interesting. Well, let's see. Oh, handmaiden to Marjorie Tyrell. So, yeah, she's probably going to be... We're playing as... I saw this guy in the opening credits, so it must be him. Talia Forrester, yeah. Little kid Forrester. And me, the squire. Got so many fucking characters, holy shit, okay. We can't can't be wasting our time with reading hmm. characters. You seem to be favouring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Mr. Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Look, I can walk, apart from I can't go around this table. There we go. Automatically walk me there, I guess. I can't orient myself properly enough. <laughs> The animations in Telltale games are kind of laughable sometimes, I have to say. Kind of terrible in places, but you're here for the story, I guess. Is that it? Did I just literally just look at the chair? Is that literally all that prompt was for? I thought he was going to say something profound or meaningful about the chair. Oh, okay, let's have a look at the window, actually. Look, we've got to take all these things in. We've got to absorb our environment. We've got to figure out what we're doing here. The Ironwood Grove. Okay. Guess it's a nice view. Would be nice if they showed us that view out the window, but maybe not. An ironwood shield. Hmm. Mm. The strongest wood in the known world. The foresters owe their lives to this wood and the weapons that come from it. Weird exposition. Because I'm a forester. The foresters owe their lives because mm -hmm. this is the strongest I wood may in the be world. Mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Yeah. Oh, oh God! I need to sneeze. Oh, oh no! We're all right. We're good. Don't worry about it. Uh, look at the bucket, bandages, healing herbs, healing herbs. Let's have a look at those. This might help. Yep, might do. In the future, uh, let's take bandages because those could probably help too. Could be useful. Uh, what else have we got? The, uh, bucket? Oh, fucking maggot! No, I don't want that! Talk to the maester when you're finished exploring. Let's touch it. Let's have a look inside. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? No, they're not. I guess. Nope. Nuh uh. There's nothing cute about fucking maggots. Not at all. 
Alright, well I think we've explored everything that needs uh, to be no. explored you here. you see there? You're limping again. I'm fine, really. I mean truly. I'm fine, really. Don't worry about me. I'll be alright. Uh, Alright, let's show the sword then. Have a look at this badass motherfucker. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. Even a sword as strong as this would barely make a dent in a shield like that. Alright. Well, interesting. Let's look at him. Because that's not weird. Let's just look at him. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. Okay. Alright, well, that was weird. I guess we'll talk to him then. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Um... Hmm. Who's... Why do the why White Why do the White Hills yeah. hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone which led to more killings of someone's and then, well, here we are. Um... The well, White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them. Especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Who is the new Lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. Okay. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is... Challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. Yeah, it is. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Royland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. I have a feeling that <coughs> Ethan is going to be like this young guy who's just a massive prick and knows nothing about how to rule and he's going to be a pain in the ass. He may be a bit of a Joffrey figure. That's what I'm thinking, but we'll see. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is, but I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his lute. Okay, musical type. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Oh, hello. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. NATO. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. Roderick was already dead. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. I'm sorry, my lady. Nothing could be done to save him. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he Ah, uh, okay. If you can remember. He mentioned something about the North Grove. The North Grove? What of it? He said... The North Grove must never be lost. 
The North Grove. Interesting. I see. You have the Forester's sword. This belongs with Ethan now. He's the new lord of the house. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family! I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. Well, he can come fucking We're get the ones it. Who should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. God damn and it. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. Mm. It was his family they killed. I think we My do need to be right. smart, though. We need to be smart. Because Ramsay Bolton is a Edith fucking... Stark was smart. And look where that got him. Uh, you're right, actually. So you're right. What's to be done? You're right. <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this... I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. Fuck the Boltons. One of their men killed my family. Aye. You'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Oh no. Cannot stay. I like this place. Duncan. The boy has suffered enough. But but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. The wall? Am I gonna be sent to the wall? Him to the wall? Oh, see. The boy's I, done nothing. I know my game not of thrones. In the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. Well, at least we had to see Jon Snow. That settles it then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. All right. I guess it's up north then. Ride. Oh, okay, he just disappeared. <laughs> Didn't even close out the scene. He just vanished. Were it up to me, I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. <coughs> I would, and God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I'll do what's best. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. I've Who been knows? waiting for the right moment Bricks. to tell you. What? I'm gay, father. What uh, is it? Oh no. Oh. Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, oh shit. The North Grove can never be lost. I was supposed to tell just him, not fucking his wife. Oh no, I told his wife. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. I think I fucked up by telling his wife. What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. 
They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. What? You haven't told anyone else, have you? Shit, I did. This is important, Garrett. I told Lady Forrester. The Maester Ortengrin overheard. I appreciate your honesty. But Lord Forrester's message was not meant for their ears. Damn it, I shouldn't have I'll done that. I'll speak with Lady Forrester. And I'll deal with the Maester. He's the last person I would trust with this information. Which is why, from this day forward, this must be our secret. Soon, I may need your help. But All I can't right. say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Alright. I'll try. Keep your mouth shut. Clearly haven't done a good job of that yet. But we'll see. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. Alright. Off we go. I'm not sure Iron from Ice is the greatest house motto, but... Alright, I guess. Garrett, wait! Oh, my lady friend. What are you giving me? Oh, a medallion. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, a necklace. Be safe. Thank you. I will be. Together we ride! <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, indeed. Beautiful. Beautiful. 